In the previous video, we found the optimal consumption points for songs and DVDs when we changed the price of a DVD from $20 to $13 to $10. And we found the optimal consumption point, that is the amount of songs and DVDs we were willing and able to buy, increased as the price of DVDs fell. If we connected these optimal consumption points with a line, the line that we get is what we call the price consumption curve. It shows the relationship between the price of a good, like the DVD, and our optimal consumption points. How much of the DVDs and the songs are we willing and able to buy? We can use the information from these points to plot the demand curve. To construct the demand curve, we need to know the relationship between price and the amount we are willing and able to buy of a particular good. So notice on this graph, on our optimal consumption curve, we've noted that at a price of $20, we were willing and able to buy two DVDs. And at a price of $13, we were willing and able to buy three DVDs. At a price of $10, we were willing and able to buy three and a half DVDs. So to construct our demand curve, we switch to a graph that shows price on the vertical and the amount that we are willing and able to buy on the horizontal. And we simply plot those points. At $20, we were willing and able to buy two DVDs. At a price of $13, we were willing and able to buy three DVDs. At a price of $10, we were willing and able to buy three and a half DVDs. Okay. While we know it's not possible to buy three and a half DVDs, the three points that we have plotted show us the relationship between price and the amount that we are willing and able to buy. If we take a line and connect those points, we get the demand curve. We can see that as price goes up, the amount that we are willing and able to buy goes down. And as price goes down, the amount we are willing and able to buy goes up. This is the law of demand. The demand curve shows us that relationship between price and the amount that we are willing and able to buy.